Are you trying to speed up an old laptop? I have this old MacBook right here and I have sped it up and it is working like a champ, like a 2009 MacBook should be working. Actually a little bit better, I guess. And I'm gonna tell you guys what I did to make this thing run better. First of all, hi. Hi to all the new dads out there. This is Dad Reviews. This is where I give you my unedited, hopefully more authentic look at the products that I like, use, and have, and use to speed up a computer. So if you're interested in that, you might want to consider clicking that subscribe button. Like I said, I have a 2009 MacBook here. My sister gave this to me because she got a new MacBook, and I helped her with some other stuff, and she was like, here, I've got this old MacBook you can have. And I was like, okay, great. Let me see what I can do with it. So um, I deleted everything off the hard drive. Drive. I didn't want anything on there. I made basically a clean install of the OS. That's the first thing that I did to help speed this thing up. But two main things that I got for the Mac was a particular type of hard drive and some RAM. So like I said, I'm, ro I'm rocking a late 2009 MacBook Pro or MacBook. Um, you need to go and see what the most amount of RAM you can put into your computer. And then whatever that is, max it out as high as it can go. So this thing had two gigabytes of RAM in it and I updated, I upgraded it to eight gigabytes of RAM. That made a huge difference and a lot of the processing power that it can go through. Now, the other thing that I did to help speed up the boot time is I purchased uh, a, a WD Blue uh, solid state hard drive. I'm gonna link this thing up down in the description below. I'll also link up the RAM that I use down in the description below in case you guys are using a 2009, late 2009 MacBook. Um, you need to check with your uh, computer uh, to see what kind of RAM you need because there's different kinds out there on the market. Um, but I can definitely recommend so far this solid state hard drive seems to work great with the MacBook and it should work with other uh, computers as well. So uh, what's great about the solid state, it's kind of acting like a flash drive as opposed to an optical drive. An optical drive is the kind that make the noise because the thing has to spin up and then it has the arm thing that mo that click moves on it. And uh, if that thing ever busts on you, first of all, like the arm starts messing up, you drop it, something goes wrong with it, you lose most of your data. I have a lot of hard drives that I've lost data on. But these right here, they're a little bit more durable and they're a lot lighter too. So you'll, you'll actually be um, uh, saving some, some weight whenever you go to replace this if you're doing it in a laptop. Um, so those are uh, some of the benefits of switching over to a solid state drive. One, weight, two, it's faster, and three, your boot time will be better. Now, if you're using a MacBook, although a Mac, although I do think that they make this for a PC as well, uh, there's a, a program called Clean My Mac. I'll link that up down in the description below as well. And uh, it's just something that you have running in your toolbar all the time, but it's this great just cleaner. Every month or so I'll go and I'll just run all the processes it goes through all my cache, uh, it finds all the junk that's on the system, and I can in immediately delete it from there. I can clear my RAM and my DNS and uh, all those other things. The startup menu, I can easily access all that. I don't have to go searching for it throughout the entire uh, computer. So just a great all-in-one program uh, for maintenance and optimization of uh, your computer, your hard drives, your Mac, and everything there. So I can definitely recommend those three things if you guys are looking to speed up your computer. Now, there's tons of uh, videos out there on how to change out the RAM or how to change out your hard drive or how to use that particular pro program. And uh, if I can find some, if I can find the ones that I use, I'll link them up down in the description below. But just doing a quick search for those types of things should uh, should net you, you know, plenty of <laughs> people out there uh, trying telling you exactly how to do that. But uh, I was gonna run this real quick just to show you guys how fast this is now. So I'm gonna turn this on. Now it's not like lightning fast or anything, but okay, I just pressed the button. The screen just came on. Um, I should, oh, I should time this. I don't have a timer on me right now. Um, as you can see, the load bar popped up right there. So we're gonna let this thing load up. I guess the timer can be, look at the time on the timestamp on, uh, on the YouTube video and let me know what time it's set to. Let's see, okay, I got my logo right there. Got the password enter. Let me see, let me enter that. 
Boom, look at that. I typed it in and press enter and it just bam came up. So super impressed by this thing. Granted, this thing was just on standby mode. It wasn't totally logged out. So, uh, but there's other people doing uh, those types of videos um, uh, on the internet if you guys care to go and see that type of stuff. Although, you know what, we can do a little, uh, I went ahead and shut down the computer totally right now for all of you who are staying here for the entire video. Thumbs up if you made it this far into the video. And let's, uh, let's go ahead and boot it up now and we'll get a better idea of how long this thing actually takes. So there's our startup sound. If you're rocking a Mac, you know exactly what that sounds like. And then look, look at that. Look how fast that bar is going to load up. Got our Mac symbol right there. And I mean, for this thing used to take, I swear, like 10 minutes to, <coughs> excuse me, to load up the operating system. And since I changed out the drives and I updated the RAM and I cleaned off the OS and everything, it's just been, I mean, so much faster. It's actually usable now. So I typed in my password and now it's, uh, it's thinking it's going to take a second. There you go. It's all loaded up right there. Perfect icons on there and everything. Look at that. So can highly recommend if you have an old, uh, MacBook that you're looking to, um, speed up, definitely try that out. Like I said, I'll link it all up down in the description below. You guys can go and read other people's reviews about those products. Although I can just, just go and do it. <laughs> go read other people's reviews to make sure it's, it'll work for your computer. Um, make sure you get the right stuff out there, but, uh, it's, it's a game changer for use actually being able to use this laptop. So now, uh, my wife and the kids have been able to use this one, uh, as opposed to beforehand, I couldn't barely get it to turn on. If you guys are looking for uh, more computer related videos, I'm going to put some more right there on the screen. In fact, I did an unboxing of this, uh, hard drive right there. I'll do put that on the screen as well as some of the other videos that deal with computers. I'll see y'all in one of those videos. Thank y'all for watching. If y'all if y'all are interested in contests, I do a contest every month on this channel. I'll link it up down in the description below. If you know of any other ways to speed up a laptop or a computer, let me know that down in the comments below. Always looking to speed up our gear. And we can kind of come together as a community of dads to figure out the best way to do that. Thank you dads for watching. That thumbs up is always appreciated and dad out. Oh, please share this on Facebook too.